everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for coming back. So if you guys watched my last haul, you would have seen that I did it in a format very similar to this. As I said, I'm currently living at my friend's property, so um, like filming and stuff can be a little bit difficult in terms of like the space and stuff. So I'm trying to make this work and I hope that you guys enjoyed the Nasty Girl um, video. Uh, so I thought I would do this one very similarly to that one just because Otherwise, I'd have to wait until I'm able to go like back to Southampton and film it. And I just think by the time I do that, all the stuff will be out of stock. Um, so that is the reason why I decided to film it like this again. But I think it's like quite a nice kind of informal way of doing these hauls. Rather than me sat there like spending ages talking about the product and stuff, it's quite nice for you guys to see it on and just chat about it. I don't know. Um, I'm quite enjoying doing it like this. So again, let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, without further ado, this is a sort of autumn winter ASOS and H&M haul um, it's more just like loads of knitwear loads of coats just like some leather trousers all stuff like that so I really hope that you enjoy it and it helps you sort of think about what you want to buy for the autumn winter and everything like that um, I am loving shopping at the moment because there's just so much good stuff out there uh, I love the sort of change in seasons it's just like so much fun to shop so I hope that you guys enjoy now let's get on with it so first up I have this little outfit on from H&M ignore the ASOS parcel in the background um we'll get to that later but um yeah so it is this like cream mall kind of um knit really really cozy it's got a really high neck really thick cuffs and again like a thick rib bit at the bottom there it's quite oversized so I put this one up in a size medium because I did want it to be like really big and slouchy um I just imagine wearing this probably with like mom jeans um probably my loafers or some trainers uh, so yeah, really really nice and cosy. I think this has got 1% wool in it, so that's fine for me um, I think I might have mentioned before that I don't tend to have wool just because it really really irritates my skin But if it's like 1% then that's fine um, So yeah, just really nice and comfy nothing really too much more to say about this Obviously, I will link everything down below and then on the bottom half I have these like faux leather trousers on from H&M um, So if I come in a little bit closer they have this like elasticated bit here, which is super comfy and they make them super high waisted as well. And um, they've got pockets and then they kind of come down to like just above my ankle. Um, they flare out a little bit, which I don't really mind. They have this like seam detail down at the front too. Um, I think they're maybe a little bit big for me. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to decide what to do. I don't think they work with this jumper at all because I think it's all a bit too baggy. Um, I think they work a lot better with like some, um, maybe like a little t-shirt or maybe like a bodysuit or something, just something like small on the top half because they're quite baggy trousers. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you them because I think they are quite cool. I think they're around the £35 mark, something like that. I got them in a size 10. Um, but yeah, H&M have loads of good like faux leather trousers in at the moment, so definitely go over there and check them out if you are on the market for some. Okay, I might be doing a bit too much too soon, but next up I have this massive like faux fur coat to try on. Um, so this is from ASOS. It's got really cool like buttons here, like a little bit like mismatch, kind of different shape buttons. Um, it's really, really nice, kind of like light grey colour, and obviously as you brush it, like either way, kind of changes a little bit. Um, light grey? I didn't mean light grey, I mean light brown, <laughs> but with like a little bit of grey tones running through it. Um, it's just this massive, like honestly I feel like Macklemore in this, coat, um, really really big and oversized, nicely lined and everything like that. I think, let me check what size I got this in. So this is a size 10, so you know, really really oversized and comfortable and I'm wearing it over the knit, so obviously you can layer it up and stuff. So if you are in the market for a really really big sort of maxi coat, then this is definitely a good shout. I think it was quite affordable as well um, for something of this size. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it because I do have a lot of these, but I did kind of want to order it just to show you guys mostly. It has like big pocket detailing here. Um, so yeah, really, really cool, really cozy, and just a great one for winter if you really want to wrap up warm or if you're going anywhere cold or anything like that. Okay, so this piece 110% needs steaming, um, but it's basically like a thicker blazer. So, sorry, the creases are really annoying me. Um, it has this really nice kind of button detail here, and yeah, it's like a really, really thick lined coat, but in a blazer style, which I quite like, so I thought it was a little bit different. Like, if you wanna wear a blazer, but you wanna be still like nice and warm, then I think this is a really, really good option. I'm thinking it might maybe be a little bit too big. I think it, like, it is meant to be oversized, but, I think it makes me look quite large and like boxy. Uh, maybe if I had some skinny jeans on underneath, it would work a little bit better. Um, but it's a really, really nice colour. It's like this nice cream colour. Um, has pockets, obviously, here. 
And yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm going to have to think about it. Maybe not with this underneath. I don't know, actually. I do quite like it, but I do think it is making me look quite, like, big and boxy. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, obviously this one is from ASOS, as I said. Um, and I do think it is a good alternative to um, thinner blazers as we're getting into colder weather. Okay, so next up I have, like, this kind of like knitted polar neck and midi skirt combo. A little bit different for me. I just thought I would try something new. It was in this really nice khaki color, which I love. I think khaki looks really, really nice with blonde. I also think it works really nicely with gold jewelry and stuff. Um, so yeah, I love the jumper. Really, really comfortable. It's kind of cropped, which is nice because you can tuck it in. It's quite thin as well. Um, so I'm gonna be able to tuck it into jeans and stuff quite easy. And then I'm not 100% on the skirt. I don't know if it's that flattering on me. Um, I think it makes me look quite big, maybe like around my hips and stuff. Um, I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you think. But overall, I do think it is like a really cool outfit. Like I would love to wear this with like a camel coat over my shoulders and maybe like some heeled boots or something. I don't think it's right with the Gucci mules. Um, but yeah, with some heeled boots or something and maybe even a belt in the middle. Um, maybe it could do with that like, being broken up a little bit. But it's so soft as well. Like really, really soft and comfy. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of warming to it the more I've got it on. But yeah, obviously both from ASOS and I will link them all down below. Okay, so next up I have a little dress. Now if you guys followed me in the summer, you'll know I had a really similar one to this from ASOS, um, but in white. So if I go in a little bit closer, it's like a broderie anglaise kind of fabric. Um, it has two tie detailed here and it goes down into like a little smock dress. This could definitely do with ironing as well. Um, but I just really, really like the shape of these dresses and I absolutely live in my white one. Uh, so when I saw the black one, I thought I would give the black one a go. I think it would be really, really nice in the winter too, maybe wearing it with tights and boots, uh, perhaps for work or something. But um, also I think it would work really well with bare legs and some Doc Martens. Um, obviously if you can brave the cold with the bare legs, uh, maybe for the autumn when it's not quite as cold yet. Um, but also I think I'll wear this in the summer as well. So I think it is quite a versatile one in that sentence and you could even potentially pop a belt around the middle just to cinch it in a little bit or just add a little bit of detail i know you can't see it very well because it's black um but hopefully you guys get the idea um so yeah really really like this one definitely going to keep this and i think it's going to come in handy for um, lots of seasons and yeah for the next couple of years or so okay so next up i have this like polar neck dress um, kind of midi dress with the slit up the side. I absolutely love this. I know it's not gonna look like much on camera because it's black, um, but it's really, really nice kind of ribbed material. It has a roll neck here, and then yeah, it just goes down. Hang on, let me open these up a bit, get a bit more light in, that's better. Um, it just goes down into a midi length, but it obviously has the slit here, which is really flattering. Um, and yeah, I just love this. I think this would look so cool with a belt around the middle. Um, I think this would also look fine like this. Wear it with a pair of trainers, some boots, some Doc Martens, some heeled boots, whatever it is. I actually think this is going to be so, so good and versatile for the autumn winter. And yeah, I just love it. It's so cozy as well, super warm. Um, and yeah, really, really happy. I think it's my favourite thing out of the haul so far. So again, this is from ASOS. I think I got it in 10, but I will leave the sizes and everything down below too. Okay, so next up we have this like cropped, um, kind of cream, almost white uh, ribbed knit polar neck with like a big chunky cowl neck there um, and like rib sleeves and everything um, so it comes up to about this length but I would definitely tuck this in to a pair of jeans or something um, just like this so this is from ASOS again really really cozy and comfy it's the same material as the khaki one that I just showed you um, I think it's made from a recycled blend as well which is brilliant uh, so yeah really really like this definitely going to keep this I think it works so well with blue jeans, black jeans, pretty much everything really in the autumn winter. I think this is a great staple and I think it was really affordable as well. Okay, and then lastly, I just picked up this black roll neck, pretty boring, pretty basic, kind of like a bit oversized and loose. It's from Monkey, um, but on ASOS. Quite like it because it's not like really like finished. I don't know, it's kind of got like raw hems and stuff, which I like. Um, pretty basic, nothing too exciting, but I do like literally live in these in the autumn winter. It's also like not too hot. Sometimes I find with roll necks, um, when they're like really like knitted, they can be a little bit too hot. So um, yeah, I think this is gonna be a really, really good one just to wear with like leather trousers like I'm wearing now, wear with jeans, like tight skinny jeans or something, and some boots. Uh, so yeah, overall, 
really happy with that. I think it's going to be a good basic to uh, my wardrobe. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up is this knitted jumper dress. It's the same as the black one that I've showed you. Um, and it's a shame because I really, really love this, but it's just so much more clingy than the black one. Like, I don't know whether maybe I need to go up a size, but I just think it's like clinging awkwardly around my hips. Um, and it's like loose here. I think with a belt, this would be better. But, I don't know, I'm not 100% sold on it, to be honest. Which is a shame, because I love the black one in the same size. I don't know whether it's maybe upper size in this, but it is a really, really nice dress. I love the colour of it and everything. I think it would look really cool with some chunky trainers. Uh, but I don't think it's that flattering on me. You can see my pants a little bit as well. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep this one, unfortunately. But I am going to keep the black. Okay, so these joggers are the next things that I picked up from ASOS. And I have a fair few pairs of these grey joggers, but I literally live in them. And I've never tried the ASOS ones. I've got Topshop ones, and I've got Pretty Little Thing ones. Um, but they're a lot lighter than these. I quite like the kind of darker grey colour, kind of more marley grey. Um, really nice. They've got pockets, got elasticated waistband and elasticated bottoms. And they just fit really, really nice. And they're really, like, thick as well, so they don't seem as if they're going to, like you know, get ruined or anything, they're good quality and stuff, so yeah, really happy with them. If you're looking for some oversized joggers, then I would definitely recommend checking ASOS out. Okay, so these are a little bit out there for me, and I'm not sure um, how I feel about them, but I saw them on the model, and I just thought they were so cool, and such a nice colour, and just so different, like I literally have nothing like this in my wardrobe at all, and I really want to get into wearing more trousers. So they're from Weekday on ASOS, and they're kind of like this vinyl... Um, kind of creamy beige trouser with a button here, seam down the front. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much more to say about them apart from the fact that they're a little bit out there. Uh, they've got pockets. They're very slouchy and chilled, which I like. I think they look really, really cool with like some chunky trainers or some boots. I don't know. I can't decide on these. I don't really know how I'd style them. I'd maybe wear them with a t-shirt and a blazer would probably look quite cool. They're also really creased and I'm not sure how to get that out because I'm pretty sure you can't like steam fabric like this. I don't know. I'm actually quite torn on these, but I also think I probably won't get that much wear out of them. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you do want to see me style up the things on um, my Instagram or anything like that, then do follow me. I'll put my name on the screen here. It's just at rubyholly underscore. Um, but that's where I style up loads of stuff and um, do loads of outfits. And I also do loads of like styling stuff in my stories and stuff. So yeah, definitely go and follow me over there and check me out. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.